Sup guys, it's Macruz here. So, this video is going to be about, well, Rengar. I've been playing him over the past week or so, uh, pretty much every match that I can, assuming that he hasn't been picked or banned, or we already have a jungler. Now, yeah, I have been playing Rengar jungle, a lot of people might ask as to why. Well, I just find that it's a lot safer in the jungle, because he doesn't do that well against tanky top laners, considering he can't really burst them down. A lot of people have mixed opinions about Rengar, some people think he's really shit, other people think he's really OP, and to be honest, I actually think he's neither, I actually think he's really strong. So who is Rengar and what does he do? Well Rengar is a predator type assassin, you know, the way I play Rengar, and I'm pretty sure everyone else plays Rengar, is that I pick a target, I stay back until my team engages, and then once they're all engaged, they've wasted their abilities, I dive in and burst down the target, and usually, if I do it successfully, they'll get blown up in a couple of hits. Now, I suppose some people may think this is kind of overpowered, because Rango actually has amazing burst damage, you know, uh, if you get your empowered savagery that does a ton of damage, and on top of that, you could just chuck in another savagery after that for even more damage. Uh, a lot of people think he's pretty OP because of this, but really, he is quite easily countered. All you need to do is just, you can just drop a pink ward down, or you can just dash away from him, exhaust him. You know, he, he has quite a few counters, so I don't think he's really overpowered in that respect. I mean, I had quite a lot of trouble going on to AD carry champions that had a built-in dash, like Lucian, for example. You know. As soon as I leaped onto a Lucian, all he had to do was just dash away, and from then on, I would probably just get kited to death. I wouldn't say Rengar is necessarily tanky either, I mean he does get bonus armor from Battle Roar, and he can also heal himself with the empowered Battle Roar, but the current build is mainly you just go AD items, you know, you get Brutalizer, uh, Last Whisper, Revenant, Revenous Hydra, so yeah, he, he definitely does have his weaknesses, which can easily be exploited against a smart team. Now, in regards to Rengar's carry potential, I definitely think that he's got carry potential, especially if you get ahead, uh, considering he is a assassin champion, uh, pretty much with every single assassin champion, they can build up a good lead and you know, pretty much carry the game if they do very well. But then again, late game Rengar can struggle a bit, especially if you don't pick your targets very wisely. He can definitely carry lanes though, especially with his his ganks can be pretty scary, especially at level 6 with Thrill of the Hunt. You just go in and viz, leap on them. Uh, if you've got your bowler shot, you can snare them as well. But when it comes to kind of controlling objectives, that's more up to your team. I don't think that he's very good at taking dragons, unless you have, of course, your team there. You no, know, he's not someone like... Um, no other junglers that can easily just solo the dragon. He can definitely do it, but... You know, if he gets caught out, then he's pretty much screwed, because Thrill of the Hunt does have a 3 second delay if you're taking damage. In regards to invading as well, you have to- in invading with Rengar is pretty risky, considering that he can- He definitely can blow people up in the jungle, but I mean, you have to make sure that they don't see you first, and, you know, they can't fight back. Someone like Lee Sin, you know, all those strong duelists will definitely kill that early game Rengar, but late game Rengar, I think he's- you know, a really strong duelist, uh, considering that he could take out like two thirds of your health with two of his abilities. <laughs> so yeah, I do think that Rengar is a really good champion at the moment. I think he would be a pretty good carry in lower elos, considering they never ward or buy pink wards. Uh, that's where Rengar is really strong. If nobody buys pink wards and you can't, you can never see him coming. Then, you know, he's absolute monster in that respect. So perhaps if you're maybe uh, bronze or silver and you're quick at um, spamming buttons, then I'd probably maybe pick up Rengar and play him a bit, see if you can carry some elo with him. Uh, I also, as I said before, I do jungle with him, so I think jungling with Rengar is a great way to go. Uh, rush level 6 and you can just pick up kills quite easily. So thanks for tuning in guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please like it if you liked it, and if you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe, I really appreciate it, and thank you.